Let's do this side, then switched it up again, just a little bit. All right, shalom, Mike. It's <clears throat> like All right, shalom, Mike. Shalom, Bum. Hey, y'all, about to shy, rock a thumb to my dear brothers out there, you little my sisters, worshiping the heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh, shy in spirit and in truth. Before his brother start, though, we want to give all praises to the Creator of the heavens and the earth, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, shy, Bashem, Rakapadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the heavenly Father, the true name of the heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the beloved son. And Yahweh Kakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit that we come in. You just heard us speak the Paleo-Hebrew, which is the true Hebrew of the, the, the true Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native American man, which make up the true 12 tribes of Israel. Devon said, elder apostles of the great millstone. And hey, they still, since the 80s and 90s, the elder apostles been out there in seasons, out, out of season and fighting for their crown and being perfect examples uh, to us younger brethren that's been coming in after them, you know, showing brotherly love through a, through the through the YouTube stream, you know, through the waves. And now we able to uh, come together, whatever state, city you in, and try to practice the brotherly love that uh, the scriptures write for us and what we see over the screen with the apostles, man. You know what I mean? So that's why it's double honors. That's one of the reasons why it's double honors, okay? And peace and mercy to all you brothers and sisters out there that's fighting to keep yourself united together. Because it ain't it ain't easy being keeping your 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 yourself united together, the brotherhood united together. That's not just an easy task. Here it is, we in this flesh, you know what I mean, where the the uh the, the thoughts of this body bugs us, you know what I mean? Situations happen. You're dealing with your own personal stuff. It's just like, you want to get the freak out of here. You irritated, agitated, all of that. But one of the things you do for the for the respect of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you stay united together with your brothers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you you um um you forgive your brothers. You know what I mean? You you uh you, lose, you basically go out your way for brothers. You do everything because that's what the Lord told us to do. That's right. And that's what it is. Yeah. That's just what it is at the end of the day. And you can never get tired of doing that. Right. Because here it is. This this is um, this brotherhood. This is going straight into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. you know, the brotherhood is going first into the, the, the kingdom. The, the physical kingdom. The brotherhood is going first. You got to know uh, all of us to we got to keep it together no matter what the hell is going on with you personally or whatever. You got to put everything to the side to, to show forth the brotherly love. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Hey, that's the second, uh, you know, basically uh, the love, yeah. the, I'm sorry, love the Heavenly Father. Yep. You know, with all that strength, all that might, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just roughly saying it. Uh, and, yep. to, and to love that brother as thyself. That's right. You know, so the, the brotherhood is very important. That's one topic that will never get old. Mm -hmm. You know, you could talk about the brotherhood literally every day. Yeah. You know, because there's there's cats out there that really don't understand. You know, they haven't matured enough. Mm -hmm. No matter how many videos come out, you know, it's, it kind of surpass. It kind of uh, go over some brothers' heads yeah. to where they feel like, oh, well, it's not referring to me or... They don't really examine themselves to see, uh, am I doing this or am I doing that? Or am I being more, am I, am I being brotherly? Yeah. Am I exercising what the Lord has, has uh, put in the scriptures for me to do? Yeah. You know, um, 
Am I giving my all? You know? Am I, uh, you know? Am I like just like you could feel when you uh you giving it your all? You could you. It's like yeah, you genuine. Bro. You super genuine. When it's genuine, it comes naturally. Mm -hmm. You ain't really gotta uh fake the funk. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You ain't gotta. It just it just comes. It's more like breathing when you when you brotherly. You know what I'm saying? It's more like breathing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're not really thinking about it. It just it just it's just who you are. The Lord made you that way to yeah. be brotherly, yeah. and that's why brothers have certain favorites because those favorites that you have, that brother might be just that natural. Mm -hmm. Brother, that just it just comes natural for him to be who he is, yeah. and to be naturally to just that have that uh, that solidness mm -hmm. when it comes to brotherhood, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's very important, man, because you got young cats that's that's always watching how you handle and deal with other brothers, man. Mm -hmm. That's very important, and then not only brothers, but when we go out. You know what I'm saying? You might go out to have a drink, or you might go out to the store and go grocery shopping. You might have a couple of brothers with you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And people is always watching. You always want to have a good report. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You always want to have them in the minds of people. You know, even if they don't know you, to to see that instilled in you, to see that that solidness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and you always got the angels right there too reporting what's going on. Mm -hmm. Not what they just see, but what's in your mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 is you helping brothers out? Yeah. Sometimes you, I mean, most of you ain't even got to say nothing. Like, uh, like dealing with the brotherhood. Like, if you see something wrong with a brother, you know what I'm saying? Really, that's up to you. That the Lord. If you see something, don't put it off on another brother to make it happen. Mm -hmm. If you see something with another brother that's wrong, take the initiative to to, to fix it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brother it's be the brother, you know, you see him with some uh some busted up kicks or you know what I'm saying, or the brother need to, to be talked to. Mm -hmm. He need a uh 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 somebody to, you know what I'm saying? He just needs somebody to uh, talk to and listen to. Yeah, yeah. You be there. You, you're not too busy. Yep. Oh, but shit, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you just there for the brother, man. Right, right. You know, even if it even if it means that you might be a couple late, a couple minutes late to your movie, or mm -hmm. or, or, or a mm -hmm. couple minutes late to your to to going out to eat with your woman, man. Yeah. The brother hits you up, hey man. It is what it is, man. Yep. You know, the brotherhood comes first and everything. You know, that's a sacrifice that we have, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the brotherhood. Because why? Yahweh Shai made the biggest sacrifice. The biggest sacrifice for us. He, you know what I'm saying? He put us right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? He gave himself for us. So it's only right for us to do the same. If you calling your man, if you calling yourself a man of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You falling at the Lord, you know. Uh, the scriptures say, uh, um, "Pick up thy cross and follow after me." You know right. what I'm saying. Right. So that's that's the sacrifice. That's at the end of the day, what that's a part of us getting that crown, man. That's right, bro. You know what that's I'm right. saying. So and it's and it's more things, but you know I'm gonna let the brother do his thing. You know what I'm saying? But the brotherhood is deep, man. It, it's so deep. Brothers just think, you know, you you know, you got cats that just think that, oh well shit, all I gotta do is show up and and say shalom and <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and, and and tell the brother I love you and, and that's it. That's the brotherhood. Nah, it's deeper than that, man. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. deeper than that. You know yeah, what that's saying? why I got it uh titled uh This Brotherhood is the gateway to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You had some uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Drop that real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna get that brother Daniel to put it all in a nutshell for you. Yeah, you know. Go ahead. All right. This is First uh, Peter chapter five, verse five. It says, "Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, mm -hmm. and be clothed with humility." That's right. So the heavenly Father set an order um, within the camps. Each camp have a, a ranking order. 
and it, 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 it goes without even really saying, you know, you should be able to discernment of the knowledge, wisdom, and, the, and understanding the Lord gave you, you're able to see who is who and what is what, you know what I mean? So there's a ranking order. You have to respect the ranking order, all right? And then it said everybody got to be subjected one to another. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whatever ranking order you, you have, you still have to subject yourself to the to, to your brother so that the um it can be uh tightly fit in 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 working together like a well ordered <laughs> that's all my <laughs> but um and that's how it is that's how it rolls when you able to understand that scripture and follow it it goes smooth but then the moment that the younger man feel like he want the higher man position, and then the higher man want to be, or or the higher man want to be tyrannical over the younger man, the order all fall out of out of whack. Satan getting there and it's done. Yep. You know. Yep. But I it says for you, how about Shimei? I was shy, resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. And that's what when the moment that you start falling out of your order, you know exactly what your order is in this thing. All right, every every individual man be given their task, and you spiritually should be able to see and know that. You know what I mean? And follow that wherever you fit in that. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you do that, then you don't have all these these schisms and problems. Now, I named the the the, the title this brotherhood is the gateway to the kingdom because I kept hearing uh, Muatazak, <clears throat> the elder brother Muatazak, say that. I said I heard the apostle. Yeah, Apostle Gabor, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, always say that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, you know, the apostles, you know, they they mentioned the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You know, Apostle Ramla, uh, uh, Apostle uh, uh, Tahar, mm -hmm. all the apostles, bro. Yep. Not yep. just you know, but yeah, all the apostles. Yeah. You know, they they deep with the, with they they serious mm -hmm. with the brother because they serious because the Lord is serious about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah, yep, that's right, right there. And, and best believe if you've been around apostles, they ain't tell you about the little stories. They and it wasn't a piece of cake for them either. You best believe that they became tight knit because of all the trials that they had to go through yeah. with one another. Yeah. So I, I the, this past weekend I was hearing Martha Zach said it, and like Daniel had said, he was quoting it from Apostle Gabor. And you know, you hear that and you understand it, but then when you actually look into it, it's a difference. But before we even do that, could you grab that Thessalonians, bro? Yeah. yeah. Because it, like like Daniela is, was saying a little earlier, he was saying how uh, it's supposed to be natural. Mm -hmm. Natural. Like brotherly love is supposed to be natural. So that that's why this scripture is here. Yeah. This is, uh, uh, what would you say? Uh, first Thessalonians uh -huh. um, four. Five, eight, four and eight. Or it's, nine, or we nine. can start eight, whatever. Huh. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, uh, first is four. You want me to start at eight? Oh, no, no, nine is cool. Nine? Eight, huh. First Thessalonians four, nine. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of the Heavenly Father to love one another. The reason why Paul wrote that, because it's like, what the hell I got to go over brotherly love for? Shouldn't y'all naturally do that to each other because you're taught of the heavenly father from the law uh that's the second commandment to love one, the the like yahweh shai said it to love one another you love yourself love your brother man mm -hmm. so why do we have to talk about this but here it is you still had them dudes out there who just can't subject themselves to to, to being cool they 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 gotta they gotta be an asshole they gotta they gotta power over men yeah. or a younger man got to show his ass like he's somebody, you know, instead of working together and, and being cool and chill, man. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, looking at the bigger picture. Right. So Paul said, look, why as touching brotherly love, there's no need that I write on to you. What the hell? You know, mm -hmm. but here it is, you know, and we coming out of the world, we shaking off the world and everything is sort, but even after the, the brotherhood has been established, you still got Jake's out there that just don't fucking get it or something, or they just mean as hell, or something is wrong with them, man. They ain't got no love in them, you know? Yeah. That's one of the reasons, too, why we say we want the kingdom, man. 
Yeah. Because we want, we don't want to, uh, we want the brotherhood to be right. <clears throat> That's one of the number one things that I, I wish for when I think about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want the brotherhood right. You know what I'm saying? I want brothers to be right with each other, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? Mm -hmm. You could say all all day that you cool, you know? But the Lord know your heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some brothers hold grudges. Mm -hmm. That ain't cool, man. Some brothers do the tit for tat. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, even though the Lord working with you, you would say, okay, well, shit, I got this, I got that. I know prophecy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a good home. I got a good wife. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice car. Well, shit, you know, I'm going to just, you know, and you can't, you can't let, you can't let that damn demon in you, man. Mm -hmm. To even say, fuck the brother one time, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know? Nah, fuck that shit, man. Yeah. You know? Because once you once you do that, man, then that's when your your shit start cracking. Yeah. You see cracks in your in your in your movements in your in your in your home and your ways and what you yeah. thought you was about to do, it's gonna be cracks, man. Right, right, and you right. wonder how did it get like that? That's because you didn't examine yourself and you and you left off and you 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 basically you didn't uh, 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 consider the brotherhood, man. Yeah. You didn't consider the brotherhood. You did everything else. You might have did everything else cool, but you didn't consider the brotherhood, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta leave. You gotta. You got You gotta let them grudges go, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let that jealousy. Yeah, but you might jump back at that. So I brother. You gotta let that jealousy go because some cats got jealousy. Oh damn, I don't like the man. He, he he think he dope. He putting up so many videos and you know what I'm saying? The Lord, you know, I know the Lord and bless him with you know what I'm saying. You got some cats that might be jealous because what the Lord has blessed you with, the 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 uh that spirit to just just dig in the scriptures and get it and understand it and bring it out and make videos mm -hmm. and brothers like you. You know what I'm saying? And brothers love you and, and you just in the background like, well shit, I want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just play your part, man. That's it. That's play it, your part, man. You hey, some the body is if you know, you got toes, man. You got a pinky toe, you got a big toe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you got biceps. You know, you 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 <laughs> the the whole body, you got arms and you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. everybody can't be the head, you know? Yeah. And, and and whatever your position is, take it, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't have no brother that that that's because there's brothers that don't have brothers that's you might not have a brother that that he feel like you're his favorite. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, man. You a soldier. You gotta yeah. think of it like that, man. You gotta think of it like that, man. You here for war. Yeah. You here for war, but when the Lord change it, when we switch when he switch it up and it's in the kingdom, he gonna have, man, the he whole gonna, nation go. the whole nation gonna love you, man. Yeah. The whole <laughs> the whole nation, man. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Hey, we're not here to be to have favorites and to be a favorite and you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you know? It is what it is at the end of the day, man. Yeah. If you're not a favorite of a brother, then hey man, fuck it, man. You're not here to be a favorite. You're here to do the work. Yeah. You're here to you're here to be a man of the Lord and, and, and do what the Lord has asked of you, man. Right, 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 bro. Quit thinking like worldly shit, man. That's the shit. You know, they want likes and subscribers and yeah. you know, yeah, wanna be love. loved and liked and shit. I don't give a fuck who loved me or liked me, man. As long as Yahweh Bashimel Shai has his eyes set on me and his and his spirit is on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't took his spirit off of me, man. That's all I need, man. That's all I need. And I ain't gotta be the Lord's favorite. As long as I'm in the Lord's, is he got me in the battle, man. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? That let me know right there that he has love for me, man. He got the truth in my in my in my in my soul, and I and I'm and I'm able to go out to the highways and byways. I'm able to, you know what I'm saying, to to be a a brother to a brother, to give a brother advice or whatever it is. The Lord is working with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, man. You know. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. So fuck all that little dumb worldly shit. You know what I'm saying? You need to get your mind right, man. You know, some brothers just don't know what the hell going on, man. You got to know yourself, man. You got to know yourself, man. Because if you don't know yourself, you ain't going to know how to treat another brother. You know? You ain't going to know how to treat another brother, man. The brotherhood is very important, man. And some cats, it's food. They think they got the knowledge, but yet they ain't got the brotherhood right, man. You know? It could be, it could be a brother just coming in. And it could be a leader, man. A leader, you would think that the leader would have it right, but hey, man, we all fall short. Our rights is but filthy rags. Yeah. Even the leaders could be took by Satan. Mm -hmm. Could be took, in, in, in could, could be uh crooked a little bit, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is here to make us straight, man. The Lord is here to uh put that fire on us to get those impurities out of us, man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We all need it, man. Right, that's real talk, bro. Straight up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm starting for myself, man. You know, yeah. you can't say that you're that you're 100 right on anything. Yo, that's lying. You know, straight up, man. We all need help, man, yeah. and we all trying. You at least you should be, and if you ain't trying, man, you ain't in the right spirit, man. Yeah, bro. Straight up, man. Yeah. Look, let's look this word gateway up, cause yeah. um, the brotherhood is the gateway to the kingdom so when you hear that it's kind of like it's kind of a little tricky sounding it's a it's, it's a it's like a saying but when you look up gateway let's look up gateway bro yep this is a gateway from the edam online dictionary all right it says gateway it's a noun it says passage entrance passage and entrance the way that you're gonna get to the kingdom you gotta go through the brotherhood if you notice when you have a shy when he soon as he Let's go to um, let's go to Matthew real quick, the fourth chapter, and um, let's go to Matthew fourth chapter. Uh, immediately, as soon as Yahweh Shai started his ministry, you know what he did? He went and got the brothers first. You know that's what he did. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, even when even when Judas did what he did, Yahweh Shai didn't even. He he didn't even come down on Judas high hour like a nigga in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, this bitch ass nigga, fuck this nigga. He ready to kill the nigga. Oh yeah, he ready to off him. He ready to he ready to he ready to dunk him on his head in the fucking a pit of fucking acid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Betrays now the son of man with a kiss. Yeah, you know? yeah. He, you know, he, he took all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, even in that time. He showed a humbleness that, like, you know, hey, man, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I know he's doing this, but, you know, he still showed that relaxed humbleness, like, okay, well, shit, it is what it is, you know, yeah, it is what he had, he, he got a, he got a job to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what it's about, it's about, he put the Heavenly Father first over his own um, feelings and stuff, because like it was said, um, my own familiar friend, that's in the Psalms. It was written. My own familiar friend has what? I uh, forgot how it goes. He turned his. He, he turned on my. He, I forgot how it goes. Uh, but that was talking about Judas Iscariot. Yeah. So scripture had to be fulfilled and prophecy had to be fulfilled. The word of the will of the Lord. So concerning brethren, you gotta let the will of the Lord be fulfilled. Uh, let's let's start that Matthew four and twelve and then read down to uh, eighteen. As soon as Yahweh Shai started his ministry, he was by himself and then he first thing he did was go pick up the brothers, man. You know, go ahead. I, Cause so so the entrance. How do you even get to the to salvation, getting delivered? First, you gotta you gotta meet up with these men. You gotta meet up with the men that's established in the Lord. You gotta get to know them. Let's go up. Uh, Matthew chapter twelve verses. I mean four verses twelve. Mm -hmm. And now when Yahweh had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth. He came and dwelt at Capernaum, which is upon the seacoast, 
in the borders of Zebulon and Naphtali, Naphtali, mm -hmm. that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. the people which sat in darkness saw great light. To them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Yeah, so Yahweh Shai went through the getting tempted by Satan, mm -hmm. and then he started going out, and uh, men started seeing there was something different about Yahweh Shai, and that's yeah. why I said um, the people which sat in darkness saw a great light. They start seeing the spirit that was on your house shop was different. Mm -hmm. So, because he just came out the wilderness of 40 days and 40 night fast. Yeah, he got strengthened because the scripture says that after Satan tempted him, the angels, the angels came and ministered unto him. Ministered unto him. So when he came out, he, the people that sat in darkness saw a great light. They were like, damn, there's something different about this guy. Now, let's keep going on. And it says, um, verse uh, 16, right? And the people which sat in darkness saw a great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Mm -hmm. From the time Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. From that time, this is the beginning when he started. Yeah. From that time forth, Yahweh Shai began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He started, he started his ministry like the first time you ever go to camp type field. But after he was tested. After he was tested. Yeah. Let's read the next verse, bro. And look what the next verse says. As soon as he started his ministry. Go ahead, Art. And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, mm -hmm. for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. Read the next verse. I'm sorry. I got you, bro. Verse 20, and they straightway left their nets and followed him. There we go. First thing Yahweh Shai did was pick up the brothers. Yeah, that's right. Come, come, come follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. So he gathered the group. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that's something that in order to get to the salvation point, you gotta go to the brothers, man. Brothers, man. You notice he mentioned uh John the Baptist too from that twelfth verse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because John was a, a forerunner. Yeah, he was a forerunner before you know how things started, man. You know what I'm saying? And you see how it was a it was men coming together. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of guys out there that said that hey, fuck the brotherhood. I'm here to serve the Lord. That's off. You got a lot of guys out there that say F the camps. They just gonna do it their way. That's off. Right, right. All of that's off. Or you just want to do it on your own. You just want to, mm -hmm. you just want to go and uh, start a camp just by yourself and on your own. Yeah. Without without having any or thinking about the brothers, the brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying leaving on your own. You well, I could do it by myself. You know what I'm saying? It, it, as you're saying that, I, I, it, I consider as you said that that's a selfish mentality, man. Selfish man. That's selfish as hell. Here it is. You got the knowledge. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, share with the next man or you don't want to be a companion with the next man and grow with him? Yeah. That's selfish. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a scripture that goes into um, uh, like a tight rope, a man in front of you leading. I'm not roughly paraphrasing. I'm not sure. You have to get it. I don't know where that, I'm not too sure. But going back to that title, the brotherhood is the gateway. So you got to, like we read gateway, you got to go through the passage or the entrance. Now go to the gate, bro. This is a uh, gate, all right, in the same uh, Adam Online Dictionary. It says, open entrance, opening entrance, or right, it says gate, door, opening, passage, hinged, framework, framework, barrier. There we go, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the door. You want the door to salvation? Well, guess what? You got to, that's the, that's the, that's the brotherhood. So that's the reason why you see that, um, brethren, all around the world have came together, mm -hmm. got to know each other, came together, because that's what the Lord, Yahweh shot even when he started his ministry, that's how he set it up. Yeah. This is how it needs to be done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why the brotherhood is the gateway. Now let's go to John 10, right at the top. It's fun. It's, you know, it's, 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 uh, 
It's got it's gotta be about the brotherhood because you got one father. Mm -hmm. He has a son and and and, and, and it's, it can only be one father. Yep, yep. One father. And he is the father has a son. Mm -hmm. And his son has brothers. Yep. Which yep. is us. Mm -hmm. The one. You know what I'm saying? We you know. Yeah. And, and it's all about the brotherhood. Shit. Like if you have a fam you have a family, mm -hmm. right? You got sons. You gonna instill in your sons to be brotherly. Yeah. You gonna get on them to uh if they fighting over a whatever it is. Yeah. Well it's mine, man. No, it's not yours. It's yeah. all of yours. Yep. So learn how to share that shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I was dealing with that today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, come on, man. Learn how to share that shit. Yeah. If you see that shit going on, you gonna cut in that ass real tough. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Because I didn't buy this for one of y'all. When one, you know what I'm saying? I didn't buy this video game for for one of y'all. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all all play it. Yep, y'all all play it together. Y'all all play it. Y'all learn how to take turns and share it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, if anything, y'all help each other get better at that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I buy you some boxing. Uh, mitts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, if there's only one pair, you better, sh you know what I'm saying? Or two pairs, hey, shit. And I got four, six sons. Y'all better be switching off. It's switching off. It's not just two, the same two all the time practicing. Talk about it's mine. It's mine. No, y'all, y'all get it in, man. Yeah. You know? And that's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be like. It ain't, imagine just one man going to the kingdom of heaven. He got all his gold and all his fancy stuff. It's just him by himself, though. Mm -hmm. That sucks. But if you have your brotherhood there, you're not having to enjoy the festivities together and be laughing and joking and stuff. The Lord has always mentioned brothers. Yep. <laughs> Notice that. He said, one of the things that, that's come to my mind is a man that laid down his life for the, uh, uh, his brother. Yeah. Uh, how that scripture go? Uh, yeah, nothing more. There's nothing more. Greater. Greater. And then for a man to lay down his life for his brother. For his brother. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He mentioned brother right there. Yep. yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, you yeah, know. Yeah, man. It's all about brotherhood, man. It's all about the brotherhood, man. This is the gateway, man. You need to be retaught because in the world, it was like, fuck that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every man, man for himself. Bro, it'll be in your old house, bro. Old house. You, you, you sneaking the noodles and hiding. <laughs> noodles for the end of the month. Mm -hmm. All type of shit. Let's just read John 10, bro, because y'all shy. Remember it said the gateway is the opening the door or entrance. Right. Let's go to John 10. This is uh, John chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hath entered not by the door into the sheepfold. Hold up, bro. <laughs> he that entered uh, not by the door into the sheepfold. Mm. That's the entrance. Yeah. To the yeah. brothers. Yeah. You got to come up the right way, man. Where this sheep at that the Lord has been dealing with, you got to come up to them. You got to deal in the midst of them. Mm -hmm. Let's go, all right? Says, and if you, but if you don't come up the same way, go ahead, all right? It says, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is as a thief and a robber. Any man that coming up in some weird ass way, you know what I mean? You as a thief and a robber, you coming up with like a different way of this is how we're going to make it to uh, salvation. You coming up with a whole way, we way like, you know, we don't need the brothers. Mm -hmm. We don't need this. You know, we don't need camps. You coming up a whole goddamn different way. Right. Because that ain't what Yahweh Shah did. We right. read that he went and picked up soldiers, his men, mm -hmm. first thing. You wouldn't even know the truth if it was if you if you have no brothers. <laughs> You wouldn't even know the truth. You wouldn't know the truth. But you I had cats out there. Uh, I remember, I, I, the Spirit just hit me. I was reading a book. I was nine years old. By the time I turned 10, I read the whole Bible. We didn't have cats. <laughs> remember, remember Sugar Freak? Yeah. yeah. He said the Lord spoke to him. He said yeah. the Lord taught him, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, you got a lot of dudes out there. They're climbing up some damn whole other way. Like the Lord just dealing with them in some way that he's not dealing with the rest of us. He wasn't even talking about Yahweh. He was talking about the Heavenly Father taught him. Oh, yeah, see? See? 
See, and that's why what happened to his ass got he if, if it wasn't for the uh, the elder brother Brock stopping the scuffle that he got into, he, he would have got his arm snapped. Yeah, he'd probably still be dealing with complications to this day. To, to this day. day, because he got into it, he was he was messing, he was uh, talking crap to a, 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 a second degree black belt. In jujitsu, man. Yeah. And the dude, he he ran up, he ran to the dude with all his force, and the, the black belt uh swept him off his feet. Yeah. And took him to the ground. Took him to the ground and was getting and put him in an arm bar oh. within seconds. And he was finna snap it, but snap. the elder brother Barack ran and grabbed the, the second degree black belt dude. As quick as it was happening, because it was happening in front of the camp, so we didn't want that. Sm we didn't want that light right there. Yeah, yeah. he had his shit like, like he was finna yeah. snap it, bro. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, but that was the same guy that's climbing up to other way. Let's keep on reading, bro. Yeah, it says verse two. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. You gotta come in by the door, man. The entrance, the gateway. Mm -hmm. And and uh, what does it say? The shepherd of the sheep. Read it again, bro. Yep. It says, but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. But then if you do it the right way, you one of those overseers of the brethren. Because we all look out for each other. That's what a shepherd does. He look out for the sheep. And what do a brotherhood do? We look out for each other. We are brothers keepers. That's right. Yeah, and you gotta be in the same mind as the Lord, man. Yeah. And the more and the Lord is about the brotherhood. The Lord is about uh, uh, making sure everything is cleansed, everything is pure, clean, man. Yeah. You know, no schisms, no, no, no grudges, no, you know, uh, uh, none of that, man. No yep. negative. It's everything positive with the brotherhood, man. It's mm -hmm. like a, you know, you you gotta have that that charge that when that electricity flow through one, it hits the other thing, and it, and it's able to go. Through do that and then pass through that and then keep on to where the whole body is charged up. Yeah, you know? that's a current. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta be able to the current gotta be there. It gotta be able to flow through you, man. The current. Yeah. So the you Holy can't Spirit. Take it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm too much, man. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Or oh, I don't want to give you no gas money. Or oh, I don't want to give you. A, remember that gas money damn demon? Yeah, that's a get. That's another <laughs> demon, man. You got cats that don't. You gotta recognize. You gotta. You gotta be able to uh, understand. If a brother give you a ride, if you're in a, in a ride, getting a ride from brothers, brothers, yeah, brother might be able to have it, but you know, at the same time, you put an offer to brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes insist. The brother might be like, "Nah, I'm good," but you you gotta insist, man. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, I want you to have that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You deserve that, my brother. Yeah, man. Because sure. hey, man, treat treat a brother how you want to be treated. Yeah. Hey, man, insist, man. Nah, bro, I want you to have that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might got whatever you got, but here's a little something more because I appreciate you, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, go and take that uh dub or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What is what what is that gonna hurt you, man? Yeah, what the fuck is that gonna be? That's real talk. How a lot of Jake's you over there be you ain't thinking about how the Lord take care of you, you be holding on to your little pennies when you 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 need to instead of putting all the burden on one brother, every time y'all get together, you putting all the burden on him. He he always purchasing all the drink, he always uh going out his way with his car, his guy. You gotta fucking balance it out so that it like the current, like we was talking about, the current could flow. Right. You ain't got this brother at the house, like man, fuck, man. Right. He He's, always doing lessons at his yeah. home. You know, yeah, yeah, that that too. You know what I'm saying? Always doing lessons at his home, or y'all always at his house. Sometimes he probably want to break from his crib, and, but you got the whole, you got a crib too. It's just like all of that. You you brother know exactly what we talking about. Yeah. With dealing like that, like you gotta you gotta um you gotta even it out, even it out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Let's read verse three, bro. Yeah. Uh, John chapter ten, verse three. It says, "To him the porter openeth the gateway." Mm -hmm. Go ahead, on. Yeah, I believe that was another uh, synonym to that word gateway we uh, we read. It was porter. Porter. Yeah. 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 See, it says, "And the sheep hear his voice, and he that calleth his own sheep." It's like it says, "And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out." Yeah. 
That's right. And that's it right there, bro, on that verse. Mm -hmm. And that's how Yahweh, was, when you move it correctly, you're able to see and be in the spirit and see the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai moving amongst brother and what it is you need to do at all times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All of the, at all times, you will be able to see it if you, in the spirit of, <laughs> of knowing what the hell is going on and with the brotherhood and all of that. Right. You can't be absent all the goddamn time. Nobody yeah. don't know who the fuck you, you, um, nobody know, like, what, what the deal is with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody don't know what the deal is with you. You know? Yeah. But, but you under, you, you within our circle, so it, it ain't like we, the real man of the Lord, we ain't going to just be like, you know, well, he ain't hit us up, you ain't, and we don't just not think about you. No, we got to fucking make sure everything is good. Mm -hmm. right. Right. But it, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a telephone. It got, it got two ends. Yeah. And another thing too, you if you even if you do got a favorite brother, make every brother feel like they're your favorite, man. You know, cause sometimes you might talk to a brother and it's just you ignore the brother. You might be it might be a a, a brother and you just constantly just it's just back and forth with you and this bro this brother right here is just yeah brother like, ooh, yeah brother uh huh you will yeah yeah <laughs> you know and then this brother bring this brother into the conversation man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's showing love too, man. That's being considerate too, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know? It's like you 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 never notice this brother. You never you always leave this brother out, man. Why, man? He's the he's a part of the body too, man. Bring this brother in, man. You know? When you're talking, make sure you 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 showing that brother eye contact and let him know you into the conversation too. Brother, I see you, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 a it's you know you know brothers uh uh uh, uh, uh start to feel some kind of way like damn man I'm not even you know because you got some weak brothers man they might feel like man I ain't shit I ain't loved like damn all I don't wanna be is just you know I'm trying to show brothers man I don't know you know I just you know you got some brothers man that just might feel like shit man. You know what I'm saying? They just want to be noticed. They just want to be, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, just, just, they just want to be a brother. They want to show you that they're a brother and they want you to acknowledge them. They want you, they want to be seen. They wasn't seen in the world. At least they could be seen when they, when they were around their brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you in a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you, you paying attention to your brothers, man. Make sure you, you bringing in your brothers on the conversation too. And it's just ain't no back and forth with this brother. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no, ain't no, there's nothing with this brother and shit. He's just all on the side and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, make make sure, bring bring that brother in, man. Yeah. You know, make that brother feel loved, man. You can make that brother feel loved just by, by complimenting this outfit. Hey, bro, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, that's a nice fit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Notice the brother, man. He got some new shoes. Hey, bro, nice shoes, bro. I see you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, that fit. You know what I'm saying? I see you. You know what I'm saying? That shit look fly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know? Yeah, brutal, beautiful precept, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah beautiful yeah. precept. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Exhorting, exhorting one another while yeah. it's called today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, we brothers, man. That's how we get down, man. Fuck this world, man. The right. world will fucking just ignore you and just treat you like shit and just, you know. Yeah, yeah. We notice each other, man. Start noticing each other, man. Compliment each other, man. You know, let the brother feel. Let the brother feel your 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 love, your presence, man. Mm -hmm. Quit ignoring your brother, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Romans thirteen and eight. Yeah, uh, John chapter thirteen and thirteen. He called me master and Lord, and he say, well, for so am I. If I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, he also ought to wash one another's feet. Mm -hmm. Lord, I um, say pretty much preferring your brother. You know? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yahushua said, pretty much, if he, he showed him, like, look, I'm going to give you the game. You want to be the greatest? They were complaining. Who's the greatest? Yeah. He's like, look, for you to be the greatest, you got to serve your brother. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go down to the because the washing of feet is like that of a servant. 
Yeah. You gotta like come uh, like a, a servant to your brother. Yeah. You know. But if everybody's servants to one another, it's like we all working for each other. Right. right. You know. Yeah. Let's go out to that Rome. I got a quick one before that one. Yeah, about. big thing. Yeah, this is uh Romans chapter twelve verse ten. It says, "Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another." Oh, there we go. Mm. And that's basically what we were just talking about. You know, yeah. uh, preferring your brother. You know, uh, making brothers feel included in this. Yeah. Thing, you yeah. Know? Yeah. You got to, man. And, and and some cats don't even know that, man. They got all the scriptures in the world, but they that that is like it's just gone. It's just they it's just locked up. They forgot to open up the chest and, and get it out and put it and keep it on, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. That's you gotta man, bring that wherever you go, man. Yes. Just take it with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. some, some 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 cats just leave it home and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, take it with you, man. You know, that's why I said the brotherhood is deeper than what the fuck you know, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. It's deep. The the brotherhood is deep, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And if you don't know how to go deep, then shit, hey, man. You know? You got a lot to learn, man. Hey, you got a lot to learn. Scriptures talk about putting on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. That's doing what's right. Mm -hmm. You know, dealing with your brother, being brotherly. Showing your brother, like, you know, he's important. Like, the Lord shows uh, men that they're important to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, bro. Let's, let's jump there, bro. Let's yeah. jump. This is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 8. It says, Owe no man anything but love, but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. That's right. So, at the end of the day, then the way, the, the brotherhood, the what, what's the adhesive? Or the glue to keep it together is the love that you're supposed to show to one another, you know. And that's the only thing the Lord um, wants you to owe to a man, you know, is to love him. Right. At the end of the day, that's the only thing He wants you to owe Him. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, whatever, regardless, happened. Did did you show love? Would you was you on point with the love towards Him? That's all He cared about. But if you don't have that in your mind or you didn't have that, you know what I mean? Basically, you're going to have access denied by by, by, by Yahweh Shai, by Yahweh Ba Shai. Let's go, right? Yeah. It says, um, verse 9, it says, For this thou shalt not commit adultery. You should not be fucking uh, thinking about your fucking brother's woman. You fucking off. You super off. You shouldn't be, like, even be around her Forget that, man. You know, I know certain brothers got different, like certain brothers, they carry themselves different, but we don't, we don't even like know. All right. We don't, our women ain't uh, amongst us. All right. And that's the, that's the best way. And that's what the apostles always told us. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know? Yeah. And that's what eliminates this now with zero adultery. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see, a, 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 and if it is a, a situation to where you you had a brother's pad or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the woman might come in, brothers purposely might look, brothers purposely look the other way. Mm -hmm. She over here, you like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, or you might grab your phone and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even trying to look at a brother. Yeah. Uh, wife, I don't even want the vision of your wife in my fucking head, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up. I don't even want to know what she look like. Mm -hmm. Look like, smell like, sound like. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. hey, shit, if it happened, it happened. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's not in my head to where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you know, how you think in the of world plot, are. Of a plot and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some cats, they just, you know what I'm saying? On your woman thing. Yeah, on your woman. They looking at uh -huh. every little curve and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a yeah. fucking nigga, man. Yeah. The Lord got yeah. you, man. Yeah. Like, like you got the NBA. Them niggas is evil and wicked as hell, bro. Yes. That <laughs> video that just came out on how yeah, yeah. They, they call each other snipers, man. Yeah, that was uh, Rashad McKent's. Right. Yeah. He used to be in the NBA. Yeah. You know. That, Calling each other snipers, bro. Yeah. And he broke down the whole, the whole little get down. You know what I mean? Yeah. How they be, uh, popping each other's wives and 
you know, even as far as the coaches. Yeah. The coaches getting they what getting they woman took, you know? Fuck, man. And, and you can't do nothing about it because shit, it's it's the, it's an NBA business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. When it's all wickedness, they they supposed to be put down. Yeah, but you know see he mean? saw don't got no consequences for adultery in his on his side. Right. So that's not brotherly. Let's keep going, bro. Yeah. Huh. It says, um, Thou shalt not kill. Yeah, Romans thirteen and nine. It says, "For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal." You shouldn't be stealing from brothers, <laughs> and that includes the tithes, bro. Yeah. You uh, brother out there who's uh, stealing tithes, and some and I'm, man, you jakes out there stealing tithes, Lord gonna bust down on your ass, man. Lord gonna that's, get you, that's, man. That's, gonna get you, man. That's what Judas was doing. He yeah, was, he was stealing from the collection. <laughs> yeah, bro, you know what just I mean? giving fake. Excuses. Excuses of why you need money and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, uh, whoop do whoop whoop. And then you find out this motherfucker using the ties to to to, to swoop up his whip. <laughs> to swoop oh, up his car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he using the ties to take his crusty ass woman out, man. Oh. To, to, take, <laughs> to get her decked out. He had to get her decked out. Some brand new shoes for Take her. Take her to the movies and shit. <laughs> Take oh, you to shit. the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know? To get them some, some, some kicks or some shit, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. That's one of the things. That, that shit scares the shit out of me. I ain't trying to steal nobody's money, man. Nah, man. I ain't trying to steal no ties. Man, the motherfucking pastors in the world are doing that. Man, bro. Like shit, man. Fuck it, man. I'm either going to go bust my ass off at this work or just take this loaf until some money come. But to yeah. steal money or some shit, man. Man, you know, us brethren, man, spirit be on us, sometimes we are down and out low. You don't even want to ask for time. You just kind of, you know, you pray to the Lord to make something happen. So, but of course, if worse come to worse, you ask. But it's kind of like, it's kind of just like that. Like, it's just like that. The Lord will take care of me. And Lord take care of us, and it's like a manly thing. But a lot of you jakes out there, you stealing fucking tithes from the treasury. And then the brother in that, y'all have treasuries and everything. You got this man that's doing that. You can't allow that. You right. gotta, you gotta point that out. Exactly. Y'all gotta counsel this man and see what's yeah. really going on. You gotta do an investigation. You gotta do an interrogation on on why this dude is like this. And some some cats not as motivated to get it, to get their own job, to get what they need to get. Because they know that they got the ties. Yep, they know they got the ties. Well, shit, I could just, you know what I'm saying? I know mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't did nothing this month. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? We got the ties. Yeah, we got them ties. We got that ties. He banking on the ties. Banking on the ties. Yeah. Off the backboard, the ties. Man, you got to, you got to, you got to, like, point that dude out, man. You may be brother all that cool shit, but no, when it comes to shit like that, man... Gather the brothers up and counsel the shit out this man and see what's really going on because then that nigga probably got a secret motive, man. Right. Or he just being crusty as hell like the damn house. Right. Crusty as hell waking up at fucking 12 o'clock in the fucking afternoon with his dirty ass fucking dingy shirt on he had for two days. You put some notice a pattern in the brother, man. Is there a same pattern? Don't go out your way to, to, to break yourself the scripture even talk about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't give all and then you be in the same boat. Yep, same boat. I forgot how it go. I don't know if it's in the pocket. Yeah, it's in the pocket. But you ain't supposed to put yourself in the same predicament that this brother is in to, to you know what I'm saying? Basically getting loans out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You in debt and shit. Family going through it. Wife cursing your ass out. Yeah, wife cursing you out because of what you're doing. You know, you you damn near about to split up because you done took out a loan for this cat that's got a a a, a, a reputation. A, 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 how you say it? A, yeah, a rep a reputation. A reputation of of always asking for tights, and it's not even serious. It, yeah, right. See, you can't right. not like that's like a no no. You know, you know I and mean? a lot of brothers we had that bully love, but fuck that backbone status. Now, once you hearing this, and this dude ain't he just on some other. Shit. Shit, backbone that dude, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck is wrong with you, bro? Let's keep going up, bro, because it's gonna. He got other points. Yeah. Yeah. It says, "Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness." And then you shouldn't be lying on a brother if he really didn't do something. You shouldn't lie on him. That's weird as hell. Like, let, sit there. You got busted and you lie. That's weird to me. You know, like if you already caught. Fuck it. You gotta just go ahead and go through with it. But to lie or to uh. 
come up with some type of fib or something of the sort to, to try to cover your ass or um to yeah. shame a brother or make him look bad, man. The Lord see that too, man. Yeah. Let's go on. Right. Mm -hmm. It says, thou shalt not covet. You shouldn't be coveting. A brother got something a little nicer than you. You want it. So you going, you going to be a secret, secret fucking uh, fox and do what you can to either uh, take it away from the brother or make the brother lose it or somehow get it into your hands. Right. Nah, Knowing man. that the brother's a very giving brother, so you made him give it, give it to you without you didn't, you basically didn't ask him, but you just kept pushing the fact that you you wanted, and you know that mm -hmm. the brother was gonna give it to you because that's the type of brother he is. Well, shit, hey brother, you can have it, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, not thinking, you know, not not, you know, just just thinking of yourself. Yeah. yeah, and the scriptures say there's nothing more wicked than a covetous man. Right. So that that's that's when it, the the uh, the Ten Commandments, the covetousness is number ten. You know, mm -hmm. go ahead. I, mm -hmm. It says, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So at the end of the day, all those different things that it listed off. At the end of the day, all the the same point is just given. Love your brother as yourself, and you won't do adultery. You won't steal. You won't covet. You won't bear false witness. Right. You won't do none of that because you simply loving your brother. And that's the and, and when that when that machine or that system is working, then that that's how that's how we get into the kingdom. We get into the kingdom together. Mm -hmm. Let's read the next verse because remember we always read this yeah. and we apply it to Esau, but mainly it was talking about us first because this was a letter to the Romans. The Israelites that was in Rome. Go ahead, I. Yep. Verse Quote. 10. Yep. Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And we usually, when we, you know, we'll we are use that against Esau and how he put us in slavery. And, you know, love working no ill to his neighbor. Mm -hmm. But when you read the context of the verse, it was talking about um, amongst Israel. Love working no ill to your to the neighbor. So if you say you love your brother, you ain't gonna do no ill to him. And when you look up that word ill, yeah, we it goes it up. Uh, yeah, when yeah. out there. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I, that, that word is crucial. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Strong G twenty five fifty six, and it says of a bad nature, mm. not ought as it to be. You know, wrong, wicked, injurious, destructive. Baneful, which means deathful. When you when you uh show him brotherly love, you don't got a bad nature to your brother, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, when you uh showing love, the illness is is no, no bad nature shows, you know. Mm -hmm. And like we were saying, you know, sometimes uh you know brother and bump head, that's a part of this thing. Yeah. That's why you always shy said uh you're supposed to forgive your brother seventy. 70 times 7, meaning that Lord knew that sometimes shit gonna happen. But at the end of the day, it, should be, it shouldn't be to where it's like off forevermore. It's just off. No, nah, man, it should be a, a reconciling. It should be a reconciling and no grudging like the, the law says. Yes. No grudging and uh, still showing the love. Right. You just imagine how to you just imagine how to uh, how to make your brother feel the same way you feel, and that's not that's not the way to go, man. Mm -hmm. You supposed to you supposed to squash <clears throat> that the best of your ability before the sun go down, man. Yeah, you know, that's right, bro. Good point. Um, I just have one last. Like I said, I don't want to make it too far drawn out, but um, if a brother could grab uh, First John three, okay. y'all got any precepts? Go ahead and drop in. You got a quick one there. Yeah, yeah, drop it. Do your thing. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. I feel like y'all just read that in a different. Yeah, yeah. that was it. It was kind of sound a little insane. <laughs> that's good, though. That's a good precept. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. Yeah, man. So if you got a secret motive, and it really ain't for no reason, but you just being emotional about something, you endangering yourself 
I'm not making it. You know? Go ahead. Yeah, because that's transgressing the law. Mm-hmm. You know? One of the important commandments, worthy of death. And it says, Whosoever shall say to his brother, Rakah, shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. That's right, man. So it goes that deep. You man, know? that's scary, bro. Like, dealing with a brother, it could be it could be life or death. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. why you got to, certain brothers, you got to move with fear. Like, mm -hmm. like, you fear the Lord. Yeah. Because, you know, one miss up, mishap could be like, yeah, yeah. 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 Put to the sword by the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Depending yeah. on what you do. Yeah. There's certain yeah. brothers right now, as we speak, in doing brothers bullshit, man. They're enduring brothers because of the because of the love that they have for Yahweh about you now with mm -hmm. You know, you got some cats that's going through some shit, man. That's literally going through it, man. You know? And it, and and it's and it's it's not right, man. It's not right that you you already dealing with the hell in the world, you know, with your woman, your job, your boss, you know what I'm saying? You dealing with all type of shit. You got car troubles. You know what I'm saying? You got money problems. You might have to go to court and shit. Mm -hmm. And then you come to camp and then you got to deal with a cat that that you know that he he targeting your ass. <laughs> He's literally targeting and fucking with It's like it's a demon that that's on you. <laughs> but he's using one of the brothers to do it. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. Mm -hmm. That is not cool. You better stop that shit. That's why... You gotta examine yourself, man. Check yourself, man. Mm -hmm. For real, man. That shit is that shit, man. That shit don't feel good, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's one of the worst feelings you could experience in life. You know? To where you don't wanna eat. We was talking about it. It's like uh I forgot what the brothers. It's like a brother tell him. Love tell him. sick woman. Yeah, like a love <laughs> sick woman. Like you having a woman that you know plays you and shit, you like, oh, you don't want to eat, you just yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. you could think about is that you like, you know what I'm saying? But it's it, 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 it's it's not a joke though. It's not a joke, man. Yeah. You know, really I'm talking about it it, it 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 further exceeds a woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like on the real, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you want is like, damn, I just went, like, I, I'm showing you love. Like, what the fuck? What's, what's going on? Why is it always that negativity between us, man? Let's be brothers, man. Fuck that shit, man. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why you, you you always thinking like, damn, I can't wait for the kingdom, man. Because I want the brotherhood right. I want everything right, man. Fuck this place, fuck these niggas, fuck this world, this devil. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want the brotherhood to be 144,000% strong. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Straight up, man. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. But, you know, hey, man, the Lord, he gonna make us right. Mm -hmm. He gonna make us right, man. But in the meantime, you gotta give it your all, man. Yeah. <clears throat> You give your all on a goddamn video game and shit. You, you got to, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> give it your all with the brotherhood, man. You give it your all on making sure you got the best cologne on. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your jeans crisp. You know what I'm saying? You them motherfuckers fresh, smelling like they just came out the dryer. You know what I'm saying? You got them a linen shirt with, with the... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You lace you, you lace down, man. You 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 fresh to death. Yeah, yeah. But you just spend time with that. Hey man, do that to your brother, man. Mm -hmm. right. You know? Same thing we were talking about a woman. You 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 get the you finally get the panties for the first time. You give it your all. Give it your <laughs> all and shit. <laughs> Trying to make sure you do your thing. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> do the same thing with a brother, but you know, like as far as the energy is concerned. Yeah. Let's read that. Let's read that. You got that. Uh, first John, right? Yeah, first uh, first John three. And uh you can start at ten. Just read down.
Yeah, this is it right here, brothers. And then y'all brothers got something, then boom. I got it, bro. You know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I got it. Come on, man. I thought you had it. Nah. This is uh first John chapter three, verse ten. It says, And this is in this the children of Yahweh are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the most high, neither he that loveth not his brother. So if a dude ain't got love for you, the scriptures just tell you this. If he ain't got love for the brotherhood, this dude is, this dude is a, uh, he's of the, he's of Satan. Yeah, bro. He got demons on him, you know? <clears throat> he's Satan, and he's yeah. one of Satan's minions. Keep going, bro. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that, that we should love one another. Mm -hmm. Not as Cain, who was that wicked one, and slew his brother. And that's the spirit that he have on him. He got an Edomite fucking spirit on him. Mm -hmm. Like, real talk, man. When you when you being like that, you truly do be acting like Esau, yeah, man. Like a fucking chocolate Edomite. <laughs> like a straight Edomite. Because Esau do that to himself, man. Why do you think as soon as uh, Alexander the Great died, them motherfucking Edomites went at each other neck? Yeah, yeah bro. Yep. Same thing <laughs> with the Romans, man. Yeah, it's the same thing, bro. What was that? Vespasian, uh, Titus and Domitian, Titus and Domitian, you know? freaking um uh uh, I think Domitian put Titus to death. Right, right. And it then made an arc. it <laughs> then made an ark and named it after his brother to make it seem like he loved his brother, but he was the one that killed him. Oh, right, I think he poisoned him. He, he poisoned him, bro. Yeah, yep. You know, that's how I eat. You know, which go back to Cain. It you was good, and then he put the arch of Titus. And everybody that threw everybody off, like oh, he loved his brother. He made this arch. It's not like somebody else. <laughs> not even the guards. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy, but it just shows you that when you doing it like that, you are moving into the spirit of Esau, mm -hmm. the damn devil. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, it says, and wherefore slew he him, because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Mm -hmm. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. That's what it is. Lord, I, he that this is the gateway. You pass from death, meaning that you that dead state of being in the world, mm -hmm. to life because you love the brothers. You entered into the gateway where the brotherhood was at. Keep going. Yep. It says, he that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Mm -hmm. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Mm -hmm. Hereby perceive we the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So then Yahweh Shai is the ultimate example. Mm -hmm. You know? And you gotta remember, Yahweh Shai got fed up with some of the uh, disciples at times. He got fed up with Peter at some times. Sometimes he got fed you gotta think about it. He was, they were in the flesh. He were, he was also in the flesh. He got fed up. He separated himself. He got fed up sometimes. It's just what it is, how it goes. But at the same, at the end of the day, he showed me I love. He called Peter Satan a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. You think he called Peter Satan and then they was now you know he probably had to calm down a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? When he came back from praying and <laughs> sleep. Yeah. Oh, he got hot, bro. I couldn't just stay awake the one hour. Yeah, I'm finna get put the. I'm finna put all Israel's sins on me. Y'all over here asleep. You know, and he was he was a little slight frustrated because he was finna undergo what no man after him will ever have to go through. You know. And he wanted his boys with him. Yeah, bro. He like, yeah. My boys is kind of like oh, some other shit right now. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show. It's kind of like. It just goes like that, man. The drama makes the the movie better, okay? Mm -hmm. The drama makes the movie better, but at the end of the fucking day, you're supposed to be like the 300 in, in, in battling together and showing love and protecting each other. Mm -hmm. Regardless of where the fuck happened or however you felt about it, you're still supposed to fucking show mad love yeah. at the end of the freaking day, man. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Yep. Verse 17, it says, But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shut up, up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in him? Yeah. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, 
but in deed and in truth. That's it right there. You ain't supposed to just be saying it. You supposed to be showing it. Showing it. You know? Yeah. You supposed to talk the talk and walk the walk. Mm -hmm. yes. Hey bro, I seen this this um, stoic quote. It says, "Only take three seconds to say I love you, <laughs> but it takes a whole lifetime to prove it." <laughs> <laughs> That's real though. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just showing it, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know that, that concludes the lesson right there, man. You know, I saw I had. I don't know if brothers got pre's. No, just talking uh, about the. Oh, you got some? I got one, just mm -hmm. real fast. Yeah, be you know. there. Cause this one is this one is just a straight cut. This is uh first John four and twenty. Mm -hmm. If a man say I love the heavenly father and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Mm -hmm. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love the heavenly father whom he hath not seen? Yeah. So, you know, and it's you know, that that word hate, you can show the brother the brother hate in in the in the way you treat him. You know what I'm saying? So, how can you say you down for your Abashimel Shai? You know, the Lord bless you with this and that, the spirit and, and the gifts that you have to do this and do that with him. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 waking brothers up, you know what I'm saying? You, But you don't have, you know, one thing you don't have, you know what I'm saying? You butt, you butt ass naked when it comes to showing the brother uh, the brother's love, man, or you know, sure, the, the the how you supposed to act when they when they, when you're dealing with the brothers, man, mm -hmm. the brotherhood, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the brotherhood is very important, man. You know, don't don't take that lightly. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you we thank Yahweh Bashimal Shai for the truth for what we have, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank Yahweh Bashimal Shai for the brotherhood as well, man. You know. Thank Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that you could be able to call a brother and be like, hey, Shalom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. And hey, bro, I'm going through this, boo, 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 and the brother listening to you and he giving you advice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or if you in need of something and, and the brother got it, he, he's able to bless you. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's a brother in your city, a brother in a different state, or a different country. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wherever it is, you know what I'm saying? Or just being there to hear your brother across. On the on the on the tube, yep. and the brother blessing you with with with, with knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying you receiving it. That's man. You see what the Lord did? He gave you a brother so you could get it from a brother, mm -hmm. and, and get it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't leave us just all. He didn't leave us out there with just just ass out. Mm -hmm. We got brothers, man. You know, some cats you just don't know how to. You don't know how to roll, man. You know, you just don't know how to roll. You don't know how to deal. You don't know how to uh, just just play your part, man. You know, mm -hmm. you just that dude that just 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 you that eyeball, man. You know, mm -hmm. like goddamn, man. Treat the brother how you want to be treated. At the end of the day, that's it, man. That's, that's it. Right, that's that's right. it, man. You gotta really think about that, man. Even after we finish the lesson, you gotta the, the show ain't over, man. The, 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 the fucking show ain't over, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The lesson ain't over. It's The lesson is still being... in. It, you still got to take what we said in consideration. You still got to have this as if the show is still going constantly until the Lord come and then until he put that perfect body to where you ain't... And then it's just... It's just... It's everything instilled. is just it's still as natural. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, bro. You know? The show is still going even after the the fucking the uh, uh the brother come up and press the uh the stop button on the um on the iPhone man. Yeah. You still gotta take it. Oh damn, man. You know, let me be this way. Let me be that way. Let me be the brother that the Lord. I I know I ain't picked for nothing. Mm -hmm. The Lord picked me because. I'm this way and I'm that way. You got to know your your righteous traits in you, man. Mm -hmm. And why the Lord, why maybe possibly that the Lord, that you might be of the elect. Why did the Lord pick you? Because you might have this trait in you. Mm -hmm.
that the Lord sees in you. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because you might think, like, damn, why is this brother in the camp? Why is this brother? Well, that brother, he know how to treat brothers. Mm -hmm. That's why he in the camp. He might not be that strong in breaking scriptures down, but that brother, he know how to treat a brother. Mm -hmm. He know how to put, you know how to build brothers up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why he there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why he there. Yeah, man, beautifully put, bro. Shit. Yeah, man. So with that, man, yeah, that, that concludes the lesson right there. <clears throat> As you can see, the title was uh, "This Brotherhood is the Gateway to the Kingdom," and we pray to y'all. Shout out, shout out, was edifying, and that uh, shit we all learn from it. You know what I mean? Everybody could get tighter and better at uh, being brotherly, because you can never go far enough. You know. So hey, through the spirit and power, y'all, Shamal shine, man. Hey, hope your brothers is edifying, you little man and sisters. Y'all stay strong out there. Keep it tight, knit together. We at the end of this thing, Satan got his foot out there. That's his job to try to cause division and all of that. If he did all of that, if he give division, cause cracks and everything, he did his job. But hey, the Lord said to 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 you know to love thy neighbors thyself, and that's how you're gonna be able to overcome that foot that Satan got out there and keep those those um, you know keep everything tight knit. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to close it out by giving all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by The bar is once again, and Shalom. Shalom, brother. Shalom. <clears throat>